Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is mail call time and this is a really special package. Coming all the way from the United States of America, it is from Gamble Made. This guys is the Ultra Link. And I'm gonna start off this video by saying a huge thank you to all of you for the constant support here on this channel because Mr. Gamble himself reached out to me and asked if I was interested in doing a review of this product. Gamble Made stuff has been around for quite some time and almost all of his products are launched via campaigns on Kickstarter. So an opportunity to review a product from an established and renowned maker is a huge, huge honor to me and this channel and it would not have been possible without you guys because I had not even the slightest clue that Gamble Made actually knows of this channel. So thank you to all of you and of course thank you to Mr. Gamble. Thank you for sending this to me. This is a huge honor. So here we go. I'm going to just open up this package and let's talk about the Ultra Link. Wow. Wow. Okay. This, this is so cool. It's purple. Look. <laughs> oh, wow. There's even a purple split ring in here. Oh, and a very, very nice sticker as well. Look at that Gamble Made swag. Look at how cool this is. Look at that. It's all like sci-fi, steampunk themed. Very beautiful. Put that right there. And in this package, he's included a total of three split rings. One anodized in a very beautiful purple. This is almost like a lavender colored purple. And I'm super glad because my camera seems to be picking up this shade of purple or this hue almost perfectly. So put this right here and there's two little small split rings. So put these here as well. And let's move this to the corner right here. And let's talk about this. Everyone, this is the Ultra Link. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Gamble Made, I'll put links in the description box below to the website. But I'm sure you've seen some of the products before, just that you might have not known that it's by Gamble Made. For example, the Gaslight Key Fob, also the Revulet or Revulet Spinner. And the one that I really wanted to get was the Load Star. And that was a multi-function EEC piece, which was a combination of a hand spinner as well as a NUC. The reason why I couldn't get it is because here in Singapore, NUCs are not allowed, they are illegal. And I kind of don't want to get into the gray area of not getting a full NUC, you know what I mean? So I just didn't want to take that risk. But here we have the Ultra Link, the newest design out of Gamble Made. And this is also in the very trademark signature Gamble Made style. It is meant to be very sci-fi. Some people might say this is slightly steampunk, but I say this is just awesome. Like no matter how you look at it, no matter what way you look at it, no matter what theme you think this is in, this is just awesome. I'm gonna take it out of the packet and show it off to you guys. Bam, there we go. This one guys, I believe is a combination of titanium as well as aerospace grade aluminum. Aluminum, I'm getting used to saying it the American way, aluminum. Cause here in Singapore, English is taught using the British syllabus. So we actually say aluminum, but I'll try. Okay, I'll try. So if I slip up, I do apologize. and hope you understand. I will have to double confirm with Gamble Made and see what these materials are because this one is a prototype. So what the Ultra Link is basically a quick release belt clip for EDC purposes. Look at that. Belt clip, you guys. And this is just awesome. Look, release it. Look at that. So this here, everyone, is a hyperglow insert. And oh, what? <laughs> oh, wow, that was a huge surprise. I didn't, I didn't think that this was possible. What? It's purple and green. This is crazy. All I gotta do is just flip sides for a cut. Oh, for a color that I want. Look at how cool that is, everyone. What? Such a pleasant surprise. When Gamble was talking to me about this, he actually asked if I had any color preferences, and I said, no, just whatever is fine. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, okay, cool, purple. <laughs> I did not expect this. This is cool. And purple and green, such a beautiful combination. In fact, I do have a couple of trip lanterns that I use with the purple and green combination. So anyway, taking a closer look, you guys can see two tones and that's the reason why I believe this is a combination of titanium as well as aluminium. I might be wrong, I might be wrong. In the Kickstarter, there is a full titanium version that is being offered. Yes, I am a backer. So let's just take a closer look at the Ultralink as a whole. This part of the Ultralink is known as the carriage and this is known as the clip. I mean, pretty straightforward, right? And on the back, this is the belt clip here. And there is a spur, that's cool. Look at that, it's pushed in so that this prevents any accidental slippage out of your belt. That's innovation right there, using a single piece and then bending it in, this is this is cool. And wow, there's a little engraving in the middle right there. If you guys are looking at it going, hey, there are some hex screws sticking out, let me tell you, it is not sharp. Gamble made stone washes their stuff. So 
the finishing is really good. Like, look at this, guys. Look at this. It is all nicely rounded everywhere on the outer edges here as well. Look at that. Look at that. Handmade titanium goods for EDC. Stone washed and very beautifully finished. Even this as a prototype, this is quite quite amazing like this could have been the final product and i would i would still get it so guys this is the clip you see that all you do is just slip it in like that and then just depress here and pull it out simple as that so now i'm going to give you guys a quick size comparison with some very common everyday items for example a big lighter this is a big xl lighter okay i'm going to line the bottom up and you could see that it is shorter or smaller than a big XL lighter. Next, for all of you who have been watching my channel all this time, here is a size comparison against a stubby. Slightly longer than a stubby. I'm gonna put this away. Then we have my key bar. There we go. So this is what it looks like. You got to make the key bar flat. Yep, this way. There we go. Line the bottom up. Okay, so it's shorter than a key bar. Then I've got a Victorinox Classic also in purple. Yes, I actually dig purple quite a lot. I don't know if you guys know. It's not my favorite color, but I dig it a lot. Yes, you could see it's slightly taller than a Victorinox Classic, but I just noticed that the clip itself is almost about the same height as the Victorinox Classic. And last but not least, I'm gonna use my newest procurement, which is the Spyderco Delica. Size comparison for everyone. Maybe I should do it this way, because it seems that usually size comparison for knives are done in the horizontal style. That is a size comparison for you guys. All these items are gonna go away right now, so with the split ring, you attach it here and then this will go on to whatever item you have that you want to attach it to. And the reason why Gamble himself included these two extra split rings is because he had the foresight to think about people who might want something a bit longer. Generally, if you use two split rings, then your item might be in the wrong orientation. So you have three because, you know, it's going to be like this and then like this and then like this. I mean, you guys are not silly. You guys know this. So <laughs> what am I doing? What am I saying? All right. So next, I'm going to give you guys a semi use case scenario. And what I mean by that is that I have with me my leather belt. And so this should clip on to the leather belt just like this. This spur here gives it a little bit of friction and you saw how it clicked. So it's going to hang from your belt exactly like that. And because of that same spur right there, it's not going to accidentally slip out. See, there's like a little resistance there, which is a wonderful thing. So you have your item being hung from the ultra link here. Just push these two down, disengage for a quick release. And when you're done, you can just clip it back. How awesome is that? And so in order for you to take off the ultra link, what you can do is either just slide it off the belt like so, or you could just lift up the belt clip area a little bit and pull it off your belt in an upward direction just like this see just lift it up slightly and then there we go easy next up i have a fabric belt as well so i'm going to show you guys how it looks like on a fabric belt just push it down this way and it's not going to come off accidentally see because the spur is doing its job too right there see it's putting some pressure against the belt so the only way for you to remove it is to deliberately lift up the belt clip on the back and pull it out. Throughout this video, you guys probably hear this rattling sound and Gamble has reassured that this rattling sound is going to be reduced because this is a prototype. He's going to be making improvements to this for sure. But in my opinion, this as a prototype is just awesome in its own. And if this is already so good, man, I am excited for the final product. And if you guys are interested in getting one of these ultra links for yourself, make sure to check out the Kickstarter campaign and back it before it's too late. It is running now and the Kickstarter campaign will end on the 15th of November at 9 p.m. EDT. So make sure you back it, don't miss out on it. Because at this point of time, the Kickstarter campaign has already hit its goal. So it's definitely gonna be made. And this for me is perfect for the way I carry my pouches. You guys have seen my pouch, right? This pouch here, I use this suspension clip and this is a pretty big suspension clip. Most suspension clips that I've seen are smaller. And this in my opinion is a little bit silly, yes, it is silly, but I'm using it because this is what I have on hand. It is like a pry bar that is not really a pry bar. Just look at that, <laughs> how thick that is. And then there's a bottle opener that doesn't work because <laughs> the clip here <laughs> just doesn't work. This thing just doesn't make sense. And the reason why I got it is really just because of this part. But this, you could see that it is just so tight and it's quite difficult to get off your belt or your pants once it hits the top here because of this area up here you can see that so it always snags onto your pants or the top of your belt and scratches your stuff now with this though 
Look at that, it's easy to interchange, you know what I mean? Like I could just swap out anything on that split ring. You know what, I'll just do it right now. I'll just do it right now. Bam, there we go. So quick release. Oh, we could do it one-handed too. I mean, that was a no-brainer. What am I saying, everyone? Yes, you could do it one-handed. And this is actually really comfortable. Yeah, I think this kind of makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna confess to you guys that when I first saw the design, I was thinking, why did you not make the carriage part attached to the item and have the clip dangling from your belt instead? Why is it opposite? Or at least, why are these so high up here and not closer to the bottom? And I kept thinking, I don't wanna to have to use two hands to just release this clip over here. Cause you know, it's meant to be a quick release thing, right? So. What if I want to do it with just one hand? And now I realize because you could actually have some extra grip here on the split ring and just pinch this with your index finger and thumb and then pull downwards or pull it apart just like that. See? Oh, my hair's standing because gamble whatever you're doing, this is some really good design. Like really there's so much thought put into this and it's in that beautiful trademark gamble made style. Like, well, this is awesome. And I'm really, really thankful that I have this. I'm glad and I'm super honored. So everyone, this is the Gamble Made Ultra Link. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them because a lot of these things I might not know. And if there's anything that I don't know, I will ask Gamble himself and I'll get back to you guys. But make sure you check out the Kickstarter campaign as well as the Gamble Made website and the Gamble Made Instagram account. I'll put links in the description box below as always, everyone. You guys know that. Once again, this Kickstarter campaign is going to be running till the 15th of November at 9 p.m. EDT and that's when it will end but right now it has gone past way past the campaign goal so this is definitely going to get made oh yeah and I missed out on saying this there are multiple color options for the hyperglow here but if you do not want a hyperglow piece there's going to be an upgrade option for a solid brass piece the only one thing that you have to take note is that once you choose a color it's going to be in there permanently because you guys can see that it is I guess kind of glued in some kind of adhesive. So yeah, um, you're not gonna be able to just change it up here and there. And that's about it everyone. Thank you so much for sharing in this slice of my life. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that I provided enough information to help you decide whether or not the Ultra Link is a clip or quick release clip, I should say, for you. Cause for me, it's perfect. It's what I actually need that I never knew would ever come into existence. And now this is a real thing. This is so cool. Thank you once again to Gamble Mate for sending this over to me. I really appreciate it. And this would not have happened without the support of all of you guys. So. Thank you. And that's it, everyone. I'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life. And until then, gaga. Just about to have dinner. And I'm back here at GYG. It's been a long time since I came here. But I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit more about the Ultralink now. Because this is like my third day taking it out on my EDC. Just trying this out today on a pair of jogger pants that uses both an elastic band around the waist as well as a drawstring to tighten it. So this works really, really well even on pants like these without a belt. This top area over here, you could attach like a lanyard or like a keychain if you wanted to. So that's what I did, just did it for fun. And I want to talk a little bit more about this. Um, after using it for a couple of days, I realized, and I feel to realize this earlier, but the screws at the back here are totally flush. And this is actually really easy to disassemble if you wanted to. So I wanted to tell you guys about this before I dig in, because I'm just about to have my dinner. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean. That this actually sits on really, really secure to a pair of jogger pants. Update you guys in a short while. A few moments later. I'm done with dinner and I'm just taking a walk around because I have a little bit of spare time. And just so you guys know, I have the attic with me. And also, I know I told you guys about this before, but here it is. This is the Bulla Kula Trip Lantern that I have as a necklace. And I've got a green trip in there and I really like it. I think it looks I think it was cool. So anyway, here's the use case scenario of the Ultra Link on a pair of jogger pants, no belt. And I generally attach it to like about my four o'clock, you know, right there. So that's how I do it. But for the purpose of this video, I will move it to the front. Just so you guys know, it is pretty darn secure. It's not easy to take it off unless you yank it really hard but you could also reach in with your index finger and then lift off the belt clip away from the carriage area and then pull it up so kind of like this 
so that's how you take it off with one hand and yes it works but for the purpose of this video that I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna attach it towards the front right here so it's easy for me to explain it to you guys this also goes to show that the ultra link works not just on belts but on regular pants as well it could be slacks it could be drawstring trousers it could be your elastic band whatever it works and now I'm gonna show you guys how I disengage it or how I release it with just one hand it's really simple it's a no-brainer so what I do is I reach into the split ring with my index finger then with my thumb and middle finger this way I push in the two prongs and it comes right out it's that simple I know this is really sudden but I thought that I should at least show you guys that I could disengage the quick release without even looking but I'm gonna try and get it in frame because I can't really see myself on screen but here we go It's that simple. Come on guys, you think I'm gonna end this video without showing you guys the glow? There we go, purple glow. Look at how awesome that is. Beautiful. And, ta-da! Wow! <laughs> Super sci-fi! Super sci-fi. There's no denying how cool this is. Yep. The poison is real everyone, the poison is real. Don't deny it. You know you want to get yourself one of these. <laughs> the Ultralink everyone. Okay, Gaga Boost for real. Gaga Boost.